Once Signal's launched, I have the, the broker window already open. I'm I'll reopen this so you can see us actually log in. The broker window gives you access to balances, positions, and trades, as well as shows connectivity. So now I'm going to close the broker window and reopen it. I'm going to do that by clicking on the trade button on the center right top hand of eSignal's main menu bar and selecting from the drop down broker window. When the broker window is first launched, you can see the um, login messages that are going back and forth between TT and eSignal. It shows you your status. You can also look down at the bottom right hand corner of the broker window and take a look at the status light. Green means that we have successfully logged in and are sustaining a connection. I'm just going to reposition the broker window here. Okay, now that we've resized the uh, broker window, let's go ahead and start a trade. We can place trades from most of the windows in eSignal. The quote window on your left hand side has a bid and an ask and right next to the symbol. If I double click the ask, that's going to create a buy order. If I double click the bid, it would create a sell order. Let's take so double clicking the ask is a default for a buy. Double clicking the bid, default for a sell. And that's true in both the quote window, the market depth window, option chain window. Now the order ticket that you're looking at, or confirmation window, uh, can be bypassed or uh, disabled so that trades will go directly to your gateway just by double clicking a bid or an ask in any of those uh, windows. However, you can use the confirmation window or dialog to change things like order type, routing, time and force, quantity, etc. One other thing is that the default might be a buy on an ask and a sell on a bid, but I can reverse that by holding down the control key on my keyboard. So this gives somebody the ability to use the price on the bid as my limit order price, um, but I'd be joining it with a buy order instead of a sell. So I can place either buy or sell orders using either the bid price or the ask price, therefore either hitting or joining either. Now we have order defaults. I'm going to click the default button on the broker window and I can associate the different order variables like quantity, order type, etc. to the symbol level. So for the Marchi Mini, I might always want to trade five contracts. For the Mini Dow, I might only want to trade five. One may be a market and the other always a limit. Let me briefly demonstrate that. I'm going to change the quantity from 10 to 5. Then we'll click OK. That'll save it. And now I'm going to go double click the Marchi Mini Ask and we'll see an order ticket to buy five contracts. And the second way that people can place trades is from what we call the attached order ticket. That's this blue area attached to the chart. The attached order ticket supports buttons that you can pre-configure they will override the defaults that we've previously set, and you can have action, quantity, uh, order type, etc. Hover your mouse over that blue area, right click, and select Edit Template. Now double click one of the buttons, and you'll see what kind of control you can place here. Uh, we want the button's action to be placing an order. Uh, if you look below that on the top left, the order is going to be a buy order. The order type will be limit, and the time and force will be for the day. If you look on the right-hand side of that, since we're placing a limit order, we need to get a price. We could use the bid, the ask, the last. We're going to use the bid, and we're going to offset the amount by two ticks. So if I single-click this button, I'm going to place an order to buy at a price of two ticks below the best bid. Now I'm going to modify the quantity to five and click OK. You can see that this button's been pre-configured to buy one, to buy five at the bid less two ticks. So I'll single-click that, and there's the order to buy. Well.